Um, so a lot of people have asked me about uh, how to deal with injuries, and one of the most frequent injuries is bumps on the shins from either kicking in training or kicking in a fight, um, doing you know shin to shin blocks and things like that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the hot water thing that I've uh, described to a bunch of people. I actually initially learned this from Gensok uh, when I was training with him in New Jersey. He had described it to me. Um, and then when I came out to Thailand after uh, maybe like my third fight or something like this, um, one of the trainers at the gym actually did this for me. Um, and I saw how it's actually done and uh, actually seeing it being done and describing it are kind of different. So I'm going to actually show it. Um, so what you want is really, really hot water. I have a kettle that um, I boil water and I pour it in and then I add a little bit of cold water just to you know get it to a temperature where I don't have to wait. Um, you want it to be so that when you wring your towel out, like right now, it actually hurts. Um, so A, be careful, don't burn yourself. But B, it, it's pretty uncomfortable when you first start. So um, you want to soak it. When you wring it out like that, it should hurt a little. Don't wring it completely dry, uh, but you get it to a pretty good spot. And then, um, I don't have any bumps, but it's mushy right here. So first you just put it on, you want to start bringing blood to the area by just putting the hot towel on there. Um, if you had any bumps, what you would do is find that bump with your finger with the towel. Like say if you had one here, you'd take your thumb and you'd just start pressing that out. But since I don't have bumps, I just have um, a few ridges and soft spots. What you want to do is use the towel to create pressure. You are pushing pretty hard because you want to be draining any fluid that you have in there out. And this is really important. You go one way only, <laughs> okay? You're not like, you know, washing board on your shin. You want everything to go in one direction, and that's generally you want it to go down because when you stand up and walk around, gravity's gonna be pushing it down anyway. So what you're doing is trying to press all of that out and down. All right, so then once, once you run out of a little bit of heat, you're gonna put it back in there. Do the same thing. If you get kicked on the thigh, um, you know, you can do the same thing. You can rub here. I'm swollen on my hand right here. You can do the same thing on your foot. You just want to get it really on there and then use the pressure with the towel to start rubbing it, you know, all in one direction to get that swelling out. Um, you're going to be doing this until your water isn't hot anymore or until you run out of it and then you need to make more. Um, so since I'm going to be doing that for like five minutes, I'm going to talk to you about other stuff at the same time. Um, so when you're done with your massage, um, you're going to want to put some kind of balm on it. You can either use um, Tiger Balm. They have two kinds. They have the hot and the cold. Um, the hot stuff is red. It looks like cinnamon. And then the cold stuff is white. Um, I think the cold stuff is used for like headaches and stuff. It's for your face, so it's a little bit more mild. Um, this stuff is really good, and it's easy to find in the U.S. as well. Um, it's kind of in like health food sections. Um, and then most people are familiar with this. This is Nam Man Moi, or Thai oil. Um, and you just put this on afterwards. Um, and just kind of massage it in and, you know, go about your day. Um, I do not like taking time off from, you know, little bumps and bruises and things like that. And one of the ways I've found that I can kind of cheat and get back to training um, without making my injury worse is by using these small, they're um, soccer shin pads for children. Um, so I found these at the sports store. And these are actually the second version I bought. The first kind I got were um, hard plastic. And these ones actually have um, like ribs or bones in them. Um, and so what I would do is when I go back to training, I take this. And since my injury is down here, I put it down here, and then I'm going to put my shin pad over it for uh, when I'm going to be sparring or um, maybe even kicking on the bag, um, that type of thing. And it, it really protects that area from getting uh, pounded too hard. And then the other thing you can do, um, because one of the other injuries I have is now on my knuckle, is that um, you really want to protect this area. And Nung was showing me how to wrap my hands. Um, more in a boxing style, which helps. You guys are going to either have to wait for another video where I can show that <laughs> or ask someone who knows how to do that. Um, but you can just find a sponge. Um, this one this one went about this way, and I cut it into four pieces. And you take that sponge, 
and you put it on your knuckles and then you wrap your hand around it and it is going to press the sponge all the way down. You're not going to have this big thick thing. Um, so it gets pressed all the way down and then it just adds this extra padding on top. Um, and it's, it's just to protect your knuckles, it's not going to really change the way you punch. Um, and then again, you know, Tiger Balm, oil, that type of thing on there. Um, and it's, you know, just these small things that I'm pretty much constantly doing this after fights. And um, you want to do it maybe twice a day. Um, I do it after both training sessions. You don't want to do it right before a training session. Um, so if you're going to be training that day, wait until after um, and then do it at night or, you know, the next morning or something like that. Um, but immediately after, the way that you would ice right after something, you can do it immediately after training as well, um, which is not right before. So yeah, that's the um, that's the hot water treatment I talk about. You can use this for black eyes as well. When my face was like super busted up, it was really bothering Taewin at the gym. And so he told me that I had to do it. So if you have a black eye here, you just make the ball and you're gonna be like pressing it in like this. And again, you wanna be using the towel to massage it. So you are gonna be pushing hard into your face and, and draining that blood away. Um, but you use hot water for everything. And you can start about, uh, I would say 36 to 48 hours after you've received the injury, um, ice prior to that. And then after 48 hours, hot water treatment, like all the way, it really helps a lot. Yeah.